Hey, everybody, it is Alicia Riser from Arise Above Occupational Therapy, and we are going to talk about three eye efficiency skills that every occupational therapist should know about, especially when working with concussion. So today let's talk about eye efficiency skills, things that can happen after a concussion or something that can even be developmental. These are things that can happen with our eye movement that can cause a real impact on function. So let's talk about three different skills today. We'll talk about virgence, so looking near and looking far with your eyes crossing and uncrossing. We'll talk about accommodation, which is your lens changing when you're looking from object to object or near to far. And lastly, eye movement. So that could be either saccades or pursuits. Saccades are when you're going from stationary target to stationary target, and pursuits is when you're following a moving object. So we have two eyes, and we only see one image. So how does that work? When we're looking straight ahead, our eyes should be pretty parallel, right? Sometimes they tend to drift off a little bit. Either they tend to drift out slightly off of midline, or they might even drift in a little bit. And for the most part, that's okay. It just causes a little extra effort on our brain. When you're looking off to the side, they should stay parallel too. And then when you're looking off to this side, they should also stay parallel. So when you're looking near, your eyes actually cross. So think about an object that's close to you. Your right eye is looking to one point in space. Your left eye is looking or should be looking to that exact point in space as well. Your brain fuses those two images from your two eyes and you come up with one image. Sometimes though, after a concussion or if you have a developmental delay affecting your vision, those skills aren't automatic and you have to use a little bit more effort. So what happens is when you get double vision, one of your eyes might be looking exactly where it should be, but your other eye may not be meeting that exact target. So what happens is one eye is looking here, the other eye might be looking just slightly off to the side, and then it's really, really hard for your brain to fuse those two images because they're not exact into one image. If your eyes are not pointing to the exact place in space as it should be, that's when you can get two images. So let's talk about your lens. Your lens is what makes your images clear or blurry. So I always say, try and think about a 35 millimeter camera where you have the long lens and it's trying to adjust and focus. So your lens, when you're looking far, thins out and that's controlled by muscles around the lens. And then, so when you're looking far, your lens is thin. But when you're looking near, it constricts and it gets thicker. So this is what happens when we're about 40 years old, you might find that you start to need some reading glasses because that lens isn't as pliable anymore and it's harder for it to relax and constrict on demand and so reading glasses will help with this situation. So when you're looking near, your lens thickens up and you should be able to see things nice and clear. But sometimes what can happen, especially after a concussion, is the distance or the ability for that lens to thicken and thin and how quick that happens can be impaired. And so that's what's gonna cause blurry vision. And the last skill we want to look at is eye movement, looking at saccades and pursuits. So like I mentioned before, saccades are going from stationary object to stationary object, and pursuits are following a moving object. So think about when we're reading. You have three lines here, and you're going from line to line. So what happens is your eye should meet the target, rebound, go back to the next line, and follow suit. But sometimes what can happen is that skill is not efficient, and you either overshoot your end target, and you're doing extra work by going a further distance and then come back, coming back to your point, or you're undershooting and you're not getting all the information that you need. So if you have a saccadic problem, 
you might not be understanding everything that you read because you're either doing extra work or you're not reading the full line. So let's put all these three skills together for the task of reading. Your eyes need to converge to that point of where the page is. Your lens needs to change and make sure that those words are clear. And lastly, your eyes have to move from target to target and from word to word so that you understand what you're reading. If any or all of these skills are impaired, then you're going to have trouble with day-to-day -day function. If you've had a concussion, you wanna make sure that your vision gets looked at either by an occupational therapist through a thorough screening so that they can refer you to optometry or by a specialized optometrist who looks at these three components in your vision. If you have any trouble with any of these skills, it can cause eye fatigue, blurriness, double vision, headaches, and a whole myriad of symptoms that can impact your recovery so after you've had a concussion, you definitely want to make sure that your vision gets checked out. This is one of our first in our vision series of videos, so make sure that you subscribe so that you can see other areas that vision can impact function and how OT can help.